Hello everyone, my name is Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! Welcome to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, and I really hope that at the end of this game, your final score will be number one, like the good old USA! And not a score or something you'd be really embarrassed about. Yeah! On that note, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with all American wrestling, followed by flag matches, and then the 4th of July, patriotic tag team names, and last but certainly not least, United States champions. And his name is- Now, if you're a seasoned vet, you can go back to uh, flipping hot dogs, hamburgers, or shooting off fireworks for this next part. But if you're new to Wrestling Jeopardy, on your screen now are the not-so-extreme rules so you understand exactly how this interactive play-along trivia competition where you're the contestant actually works. No, this would never happen on Canada Day. Let's start off with a bang here, the 200-point round, the easiest round in Wrestling Jeopardy. Starting off with All-American Wrestling, nicknamed Mean Gene, this 2006 WWE Hall of Famer was the longest-running host of WWF All-American Wrestling. And the correct answer, who is Mean Gene Okerlund? We're on to flag matches for 200. In a high stakes flag match at SummerSlam 2014, this super athlete proved too much for Jack Swagger. Now, the rules of a flag match have always been kind of uh, loosey-goosey, but you also don't want to take the flag and stick it down your pants like Mr. America. I am a real American. So in this match, which was won by Rusev, Swagger refused to submit to Rusev's accolade, instead losing the match when he passed out from the excruciating pain. And that brings us to the 4th of July for 200. At the end of Monday Night Raw on July 4th, 2005, Shawn Michaels turned on this wrestler and set up what would become the infamous Icon versus Icon match at that year's SummerSlam. And that would be who is Hulk Hogan? Brother, brother, brother. Which brings us to patriotic tag team names for 200. Who are the real Americans? And that would be Cesaro and the aforementioned Jack Swagger. All right, let's close out the 200 point round with US champions. This wrestler slash YouTuber defeated Rey Mysterio at WWE Crown Jewel in November 2023 to capture his first United States Championship. And that would be the Maverick, Logan Paul. All right, hopefully you went five for five there and got yourself a sparkly 1,000 points. America! On to the 400 point round. WWF All-American Wrestling was a TV show that ran from September 1983 to October 1994 on this All-American Cable Television Network. And the correct answer, what is the USA Network? And it begins with a U, it ends with an A, it has a middle initial death. Which brings us to flag matches for four this Canadian faction defeated the team of The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Dude Love in a flag match on a July 1997 edition of Monday Night Raw. Ah yes, 1997, the year of flag matches in the WWF. The correct answer is, who are the Hart Foundation? Moving on to the 4th of July, for four, this first ever double steel cage gimmick match took place on July 4th, 1987, when the Road Warriors, Nikita Koloff, Dust De Rhodes, and Paul Ellering defeated the Four Horsemen. And 
And the answer, what is War Games? Or as it was known back then, War Games, the match beyond. We're on to patriotic tag team names for 400. Who was American Alpha? A successful NXT tag team that didn't necessarily uh, pan out when they got called up to the main roster. The correct answer, who are Chad Gable and Jason Jordan? And closing out U.S. champs for 400, John Cena's U.S. Open Challenge came to an abrupt halt at Hell in a Cell 2015 when this Mexican superstar made his surprise return and defeated the champ in just seven minutes to win the U.S. title. And that would be, who is Alberto Del Rio? <laughs> All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus the daily double floating around and final Jeopardy. It's that time during the game where I do a little uh, shameless plug. If you're enjoying yourself as much as I am, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy notification icon bell so you get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, which is every weekend. Yeah! Starting off the 600 point round with all American wrestling, the premiere episode was devoted entirely to this all American amateur wrestling standout who in 1983 had been WWF champion for over five years. The All-American standout was the kid from Princeton, Minnesota. Who is Bob Backlund? And before I move on to the next question, you gotta take a look at this clip of Vince McMahon from this first episode of All-American Wrestling. He looks like a deer in headlights. And watch Bob Backlund as he met Ken Patera. No! We're on to flag matches for 600. John Cena defeated his longtime rival Rusev in a flag match at WWE Battleground 2017, which fittingly took place in this U.S. city known also as the birthplace of America. And the answer, the city of brotherly love, not brother love. What is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Let's go to 4th of July for six. And there it is, the daily double for this episode in the category of the 4th of July. Think about how much you know about wrestling events and wrestling things that have happened on that date, the 4th of July, and place your wager now. All right, time is up, let's go to the clue. On the July 4th, 2002 edition of SmackDown, Hulk Hogan and Edge defeated this team and captured the WWE World Tag Team Championship for the first time. Of course, by that I mean that that was Hogan's first time capturing the tag team straps when Hogan and Edge defeated Billy and Chuck. All right, moving on to Patriotic Tag Teams 4, 600. Who were the U.S. Express? It could be multiple answers on this question. The most famous U.S. Express just got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame was Barry Windham and Mike Rotundo, would have also accepted Mike Rotundo and the golden boy, Danny Spivey. And closing out the 600 point round with US champions, this wrestler's initial run with the WWE US title was defined by a feud against Matt Hardy that resulted in many contests to decide the better man, such as pizza eating, chess, and basketball. And the answer, who is MVP? Moving on to the 800 point round. All American Wrestling was canceled in 1994 and replaced by Action Zone, a new show hosted by Todd Pettengill and this alter ego of Michael P.S. Hayes. Uh -oh. 
And the correct answer, who is Doc Hendricks? Doop, doop, doop. Brings us to flag matches for 800. Nikolai Volkov sparked a Cold War rivalry against this former United States Armed Forces member in a series of flag matches, including a clash at WrestleMania II. And the answer, who was Corporal Kirshner? We're on to the 4th of July for 800. On July 4th, 1993, Lex Luger arrived via helicopter aboard this U.S. battleship in New York City and proceeded to body slam the 550-pound WWF champion Yokozuna. And the answer we're looking for here, what is the USS Intrepid? All right, moving on to patriotic tag teams for 800. Who were the Patriots? Hailing from none other than WCW Special Forces, the Patriots were Todd Champion and Firebreaker Chip. We're getting fired up and we're ready to rock! Closing out the 800 point round, after suffering a legitimate broken neck, this wrestler was forced to vacate the WCW United States title in late 1992 after nearly 14 months as champion. And that would be ravishing Rick Rude. He's simply ravishing. And now it's time for the most difficult round in Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. The steel cage from War Games begins to lower. The ominous music begins to play. You gotta get your thinking caps on for these final five questions before we get to Final Jeopardy. So let's kick things off going back to All American Wrestling for a thousand. One notable episode of All American Wrestling took place before this WrestleMania in March of 1993 with Mean Gene Okerlund and Bobby the Brain Heenan infiltrating WWF headquarters to try and get a word with President Jack Tunney. And this took place before one of the worst WrestleManias of all time. That would be in Las Vegas, WrestleMania 9. Hi, gang. Hey, uh, which, where are you going? Oh, Luke, come with me. Brings us to the final clue from flag matches. The very first flag match on record occurred on December 25th, 1984 in Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling when this wrestler defeated his former tag partner, Ivan Koloff. Now, some of you old school fans have been requesting more questions from the territory days. Well, I hope you're happy with this one because the answer here is the pride of the Carolinas, Don Kernodal. Let's finish up 4th of July for a thousand. On July 4th, 2006, this wrestler defeated Rob Van Dam to become ECW champion and the first person to win the WWF, WCW, and ECW world titles. And this answer, well, it's the big show. Finishing up patriotic tag team names for a thousand. I'll give you a little hint with this one. Who are the infantry who wrestle in AEW and Ring of Honor? And that would be Captain Sean Dean and Carly Bravo. And let's close out the board. United States champions for a thousand. I never said it was only going to be about singles champs. The WCW United States Tag Team Championship was retired in 1992 after this duo defeated the fabulous Freebirds for the belts. The correct answer here is who were Dirty Dick Slater and the Barbarian? Hey, Tommy Young. All right, remember, hopefully your score is trending towards USA number one. 
But first, it's time for Final Jeopardy. Yo, Jimmy, hit me with that category. The Great American Bash. This patriotic event traces its history back to the National Wrestling Alliance in 1985. In a break from tradition at one point, the event was given the more universal moniker of the Bash. However, the Star Spangled Showdown returned to its red, white, and blue roots thanks to NXT in 2020. All right, so think about how much you know about the Great American Bash and its storied history and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is this episode's Final Jeopardy clue. The 1998 Great American Bash was headlined by a singles match between these two wrestlers to settle a dispute over the WCW tag team titles, which had become interlaced with the rivalry between the now divided NWO. Good luck. The 1998 Great American Bash was headlined by a singles match between these two wrestlers to settle a dispute over the WCW tag team titles, which had become interlaced with the rivalry between the now divided NWO. After reading that, you really want to know what killed WCW booking like this. The correct answer, who is Sting and the Giant? And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.